Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy K every day. It's your boy K. Look, man, I love this rap beef right now because it just keep giving me a constant loop of content that I could just keep putting out. I was getting a little worried, though, because it felt like the beef was dying down a little bit. It had been a while since somebody had put something out. You know, Drake took his shot, and then it was kind of quiet, and he was basically egging Kendrick on for him to respond and I guess God answered my prayers. Well, let me be, you know, totally open, honest, and transparent with y'all. I didn't pray to God that he was going to give me a route beef. But, hey, for the purposes of content, we just going to say that we prayed about it. And uh, God answered my prayers because Kendra dropped his diss track in response to the two that Drake done put out. Um, and it was called Euphoria. And, you know, I've been seeing all these different videos, people breaking down the science and all of this. You know, what the song talking about? What does it mean? I'm going to be honest with y'all. So I've been on Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it, all day. And I've been reading thousands of comments. And I must have heard another song or something because I don't know what people are talking about. But I don't want y'all to take my word for it. I'm not going to play the whole song because I don't want to bore y'all to death because uh, first of all, the song is over six minutes long. So this is going to be over six minutes of your life that you won't be able to get back. Um, but I'm going to play the intro part because I want y'all to hear that. And then I'm going to let it kind of fade into, I guess, you know, the beginning of the song. So you can just kind of hear how it kind of switches into another song. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to tell y'all how I feel about this song. Y'all hold on. Let me try to pull this song up now. All right. Here you go, y'all. It's called Euphoria. 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 Them superpowers get neutralized, I can only watch in silence The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling You're moving just like a degenerate, heavy antique is feeling distasteful Why calculate you, now it's calculated I Alright, I hate to ruin this boring vibe that's going on right now But I'm gonna stop it real quick and let y'all know If I didn't hear a lot of the comments, or let me... Let me take the If I didn't see a lot of the comments about this song, I would have just totally stopped listening to this song because when I first heard this, I was like, this ain't even a diss track. What kind of diss track have you ever heard? Come on, sound like you trying to like put a lullaby out. Like it sounds like something that you would play to a kid when you're trying to make them go to sleep. So I was like, hold on, this must be either AI, somebody trolling. This can't be the official diss track responding back to Drake. But this is how Kendrick decided to start out this diss track. But here it go. Your angle fabricate stories on the family front Cause you heard Mr. Morale A pathetic master manipulator I can smell the tales on you now You're not a rap artist, you're a scam artist With the hopes of being accepted Tommy Hilfiger stood out But FUBU never had been your collection I make music that electrify him. You make music that pacify him. I can double down on that line But spare you this time That's random acts of kindness Know you're a master manipulator And a bitch you a liar too but don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truths about you. Alright, this is switch up. Shoes! Shoes! That's probably the shoes. most exciting part of the song. Them shoes! 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 shoes. Alright, I'm stopping right there. So he was about to get into the song, and again, the song is like six and a half minutes long. And the intro, that intro part is like 30 seconds long before he even get into the song and like you heard them shoo shoo that's probably the most interesting part of the whole song and, and that's like he's not even rapping he's just making noise um so I do want to shout out Gilly uh because and I'm not saying that he's the only person but it was one of the only people that I saw that put out a comment about this diss track that was basically saying that they thought that the song was corny and he couldn't have said it no better because when I heard this song, I was like, yo, this song is so corny. Um, and I know people, you know, this real hip hop heads, they're not gonna really, you know, like my opinion about what I'm, you know, what I'm about to say. But look, man, when you dissing somebody or you going at somebody, this ain't the time to try to prove how smart you are. I shouldn't feel like I need a PhD from Harvard or Yale while I'm listening to your song. 
I had to go on YouTube and find several videos of people breaking down the whole song line by line to even really understand all of the different ways that Kendrick was dissing this dude. Like, look, man, this this diss track, this is beef. Keep it surface level. Keep it to your average consumer. We want to hear the song and know exactly what you're talking about, not having to break out an encyclopedia and all of this stuff to try to figure out what you're saying, man. Like, it's corny. And then, if that wasn't bad enough, first of all, he killed the vibe. The, 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 the track or, the, you know, the beats that he chose to use for the, for the songs was whack. That intro was super lame. I was about to fall asleep when I heard that part. I was like, yo, it's got to get better than this. And then, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't know exactly what he said, but, you know, he goes into this thing where he basically, you know, trying to say that he don't feel that Drake should be able to say the N-word because, I guess, because he's trying to say that he ain't all the way black or the fact that he biracial, he shouldn't be allowed to say the N-word. That's corny. And then, further along in the song, he starts talking about well, you don't, basically this is what he was saying. You don't know how it feels to be a good parent or to be a good dad. You don't know how it feels to tuck your kid in the bed at night and say the prayers with your kid and all that stuff. And I'm like, dude, this ain't the time to be telling us about how good of a parent you are and how Drake sucks at being a dad. Like, if you want to say, yo, I don't even know if that kid George because so-and-so slept with your with your, you know, with your baby mom or something. That's one thing. But to do this whole, yo, I pick my kids up from school every day. I read them a bedtime story every night. Yo, that is so lame. Yo, I was so irritated when I heard this song because I guess I was irritated. One, because Kendrick made us wait so long. I know I'm not the only person that feels like this. He made us wait so long to respond to it. You just thinking like he got to be coming with some heat. And then you got to also take in consideration that when he dropped that verse on like that, that set the ball. We was like, yo, everything that he do is going to match that energy. It's going to be like that, no pun intended, or it's going to be better. He set the ball super high. Now I get it. That wasn't an entire song of Kendrick. That was just a verse. But that verse was fire. I'm not a hater. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to give you credit when credit's due. That verse on that song was fire. But to do that and then to make us wait forever and then to come back and do something like this, yo, if I was Drake, I wouldn't even respond at this point. Like, what's the point? You know, like, if Drake responded at this point, I would almost equate that to be like back in the day for those, I'm showing my age, but for those that's old enough to remember when you saw Mike Tyson fight, if he didn't knock you out in the first round, you was probably going to get knocked out in the second round. But this would be like, if Mike Tyson knocked you out, you already laying on the mat, can't get up, and then he walk over to you and keep punching you while you already stretched out on the mat. It just wouldn't make sense, right? That, that's basically what Drake would do if he put out another diss track after this song it's like look man in my opinion Drake didn't already I think it's unanimous like he done won I mean I ain't really like the AI stuff he did but I think both of the songs that he done put out are better than this right here this right here is horrible there's nobody that can I mean I've, I've looked at all the videos now I done got my PhD I understand every line by line of what he was talking about in this song but how he did it the delivery everything was still corny so, Kendrick losing, he done lost, and I don't even know what he can do. If each this, if he gonna keep this up, if each song that he do is gonna be like this, just another continuation on, well, I'm just gonna show you how smart I am, and I'm gonna show you that I'm like the illest lyricist in the world. Dude, you lost me. Now, I know there's a group out there that really loves the rapidy rap, you know, the backpackers, you know, the ones that's just really true for the cause and all of that stuff. But for the average listener, for the average person that remembers what, you know what I'm saying, rap beef used to really be like, it was none of that trying to prove how smart you are and that you could use the biggest words and triple entendres and all. I'm getting so tired of even hearing that. Oh, you got to use a triple entendre. Who cares? 
if it's hot, it's hot. I need to understand what you're saying, and I need to know exactly who you're talking about. I shouldn't have to try to guess who you're talking about. Yo, just say the person's name. If you say the person's name, then I know you're talking about them. But all this, oh, I just, I don't think you should use that word because I think it's, I mean, I think it's kind of cringe. I think he actually used the word cringe. He either said cringe or cringy, which is bad enough. He was like, oh, I think it's cringe that he uses the N-word in his songs. Oh, my God. His mom is white. Who cares? Last time I checked, his dad is black. So, is he black or is he not? I mean, if that's the case, so are we saying that no biracial people should ever be able to use the N-word? I mean, I'm just asking. Like, if somebody let me know, like, this song, I, oh, it was just so, like, again, I took my hat to Gilly because he said, for some reason, what a lot of people were scared to say. I don't know if this is just an unpopular opinion. I don't know if we got to keep taking, every time somebody drop a song, I guess we're going to act like it's the hottest diss song we heard until the next person dropped theirs. And then we're going to forget about what the other person just said. And now this one is the hottest song. This was the lamest. All right. So I can't break down the whole song because, again, obviously I'm not smart enough to. And I done forgot half of the lines that he was trying to decode in the song because it's just too much to keep up with. I saw some videos where people were saying that he purposely titled the song Euphoria because it has several different meanings. So you, he couldn't just pick something that just had a simple meaning. It was like, it has like 10 different meanings and they were trying to dig into the, you know, Kendrick psychology. They was like, well, he could have titled it that because, you know, Drake, you know, he had that show that he was the executive producer of that was named Euphoria. And then that could have been taking a stab at Drake because, you know, when Drake first got started in the industry, he was really a, a actor first. He wasn't a rapper. And basically that could be Kendrick's way of saying that he need to, you know, be himself and stop trying to be tough and stop trying to act like a rapper and he need to get back to acting and all this stuff. And then they start talking about what the show Euphoria is about and then they try to tie that to this could be Kendrick's way of trying to say that Drake be messing with like, you know, young girls and that he don't have no respect for women. I mean, it was just all this stuff. And I'm like, look, if I'm, if I'm listening to a diss track, I'm, I'm getting irritated just, just talking about it. If I'm listening to a diss track, why should I have to be thinking about all of that stuff I just said when I'm listening to, to a diss track? When, I, when he put the song out, I just want to look at it and say, huh, he named the track Euphoria. Okay. I know what that word means, but other than that, I shouldn't have to be trying to dig into the psychology behind why you chose that title. And oh, that was because Drake was the executive producer, this, this, that, and the third. Yo, man. You already made the song over six minutes long. So if you won't make the song that long, you better give me six and a half minutes of, sh of heat. Not, oh, you're, you're a horrible dad. You don't show up at the PTA meetings and you don't read to your son at night and all that. I mean, he was basically saying that, ah, and, I, and, I, and, and what, he was, what he was trying to say was, you know, Drake, you know, he's kind of like caught up in that party. He just want to party all the time. He just want to have a good time. He's still basically acting like a kid. At some point, you need to grow up, be an adult. You need, to, you need to take care of your responsibilities. You need to be a man. You need to take care of your son. And you settle down and have a family and all of that stuff. Dude, if Drake want to party, if that's what Drake want to do, that's his business. Like, but to do the whole, you know, I read to my son, you don't read to your son. <laughs> Yo, it was just, it just came off so corny. But maybe I heard a different song because, like I said, I was on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it earlier. And I swear, besides seeing the video that Gilly put out, everything I saw was people just praising Kendrick about, Yo, oh, he just killed Drake. Oh, man, he just. He line by line, you know, he just broke him down. He was just so surgical, and this was like the craziest this, da da da. I was like, now it's making me want to go back and listen to it again because I want to hear what everybody else heard because obviously I missed it because when I heard it, I was like, this was supposed to be, we waited this long for this, and this is what we got. I mean, 
and look, and I ain't even the biggest Drake fan, so I ain't even sitting here trying. Because now it's all I'm starting to see. It's almost like people feeling like you got to pick a side. It's like you can't just be transparent, open, and honest, and just be objective in this whole rap beef. It's almost like you got to be Team Drake or you got to be Team Kendrick. I'm not team nobody. I ain't getting paid from neither one of these guys at the end of the day. I really don't care, but they giving me great content. But it's like the people that's capable for Drake, you know, they coming up with all these reasons why they feel the Drake, you know, and then all the people that's capable for Kendrick, it's like, they like, oh my God, you know, Kendrick, just, you, did you just hear what he said when he said this? And I was like, yeah, I heard it. And it wasn't hot. But Kendrick can put out, like, again, that like that verse was crazy. He was very poignant, direct. You knew exactly who he was talking about. He wasn't trying to get all super lyrical and I'm the smartest guy in the room. It was, it was in and out like an OG classic. That's what we used to. But now he gonna, he went back into he got into his artsy bag with this one. He got a little too cute. You know, he had the little, the little playful little intro, the little all that. And, and that was 30 seconds long. And then it went into an, the beat switch and then it went into another song. But that song was over four minutes long. And it wasn't hot. I kind of felt like this. That's how I felt after I heard the song. But uh, y'all let me know, man. I mean, it's, uh, look, again, I'm glad he put it out because it, it just keeps giving me something to talk about. I mean, hey, man, if you're going to keep them coming, keep them coming. But look, I just hope that if Kendrick put out another song, it's way better than this one. Or at this point, like I said earlier, if I was Drake, I wouldn't even respond with another song because, I mean, I mean, do you want to keep kicking a man when he down? I think Drake up at this point, too, too old. So at this point, what do we have to prove to keep putting out songs? Like, you know what? Your last song is bad. I'm going to put out another diss track. And I'm going to put out another diss track. Look, man, just look. Let it go. Take the L. Drake up too old. And I would love to hear somebody come back with a good reason why I'm wrong and how I feel about this new K-Dot diss track. But look, I appreciate y'all tuning in to the podcast. Y'all be good and stay safe. On the field, 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 on the field.